group of more than two dozen college kids from right here in the Cincinnati area just returned from two months, a two month trip to Israel. It all started out actually as an opportunity, of course, to learn more about the Jewish homeland. But as WLWT News says, Andrew Setters reports tonight, it turned into a first person experience of living in a country at war. For the families reunited at the airport this morning, this was the end of a very long eight weeks. It's fantastic. I mean, I miss her. I, I love having her home, but I'm so glad she had this opportunity because it was a once in a lifetime opportunity. These 25 local college kids traveled to Israel as part of the Onward Israel program. Then on July 8th, war broke out in Gaza. Instead of simply learning about their field of study while working as interns, they experienced what life can really be like in Israel with sirens going off, warning of rocket strikes. We all kind of looked around and thought, what is this? And then we all had been told from the beginning, even before there was anything going on, what to do. And that helped us feel very safe. We were very aware of what to do in any circumstance and where to go and how to how to take care of ourselves. Abby Leibowitz interned with a dance company in Tel Aviv. She says she felt very safe and made sure she stayed in touch with her parents. I made sure that every time a siren went off, I texted them, <laughs> even though it was the middle of the night here. <laughs> the phone was by my bed every night, and that, that text <laughs> went off at 4 a.m., 4.30, and she'd say, sirens went off, we're okay. And I would text back, Great. <laughs> Students and their parents gain new insight into the ongoing conflict. Hoping that somehow peace can be achieved, somehow. Not sure how to do it. But, <laughs> but for now, they're happy to be at home, at least for a short while, before many head back to school. Awesome. <laughs> I <laughs> loved my time in Israel, but I'm ready to eat some Skyline. <laughs> From the airport, Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5. It is the little things in life, right? So out of the nearly 30 kids who took part in that trip, only four decided to come home early because of the conflict there. Trip organizers stayed in touch with families to keep them informed about safety throughout their stay.